Down south, isn't it? We down south. The birds are doing it. Like the voice of reason shining. The for all time. That place is hidden, turned away. He does not succeed the word he says. Back when I used to feed my snake, like, you can eat that, yeah, yeah, eating apple. Snakes are going to join together now. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Who knew swans loved apple so much? Hank Spears' house. We're gonna go. Yeah, it's old Shaky's house. And then we're gonna try and go and watch. Oh, that looks very pretty. Go on, Ben. Is it Christmas stuff already? Gee whiz. We haven't finished the pilgrimage yet. You can't do Christmas until we set off and it was summer. Is that his actual, his actual digs? Yeah, that was his digs. That was his digs. And then we're gonna go. There he is. All right, Shaky. Shack spear. Shake your spear. Shack spear. There he is. We're going to try and go and see Merchant of Venice at the portraits we're coming. I think it's this way. And we're all together going to. Gallery 2. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to go and see Merchant of Venice. 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 Merchant of <laughs> yeah, young and then old. Yeah. Wow. Home repair plus. Alas, it would appear that I have just accidentally urinated all over this bench. Hark, how weary with me that I have done this so, and in public, I am undone. Very wonky tower. Looks like it's going to fall down. And lots of beautiful ancient yews. Especially this one, look at Hello you. She's a beauty. Look at her. Oh. Wow. 
majestic. It's the green ones. Yeah. Broccoli and garlic oil to go with the puff ball. Like a kite. That's really low. Oh, it was a kite. Oh, yeah, look, it's a kite. Is it a kite? How did we not put kites in it? It's much too easy. <laughs> what? Every time we see bird houses, I think about that Dimitri Martin sketch of the two houses and there's like the big organic farm. Yeah, so um. The field with the big tent. What, what was the big organic place? It's not Coles Hill, it was um. Drayford. Drayford, yes, Drayford. Cool. What? <laughs> Where are we? Going? Where are we? I went to the Smear, Your phone is a smear. It's a smear. I think the plastic. Do your best frog. <laughs> Very good. I mean, you know, slightly better one man tent. I'd like to see your one man tent, John. Yeah, it's not working. Yes, work it babies. So we are at the Roll Wright Stones and we've just performed our mama's play um, to lovely audience that came to join us and I'm feeling a real power here. Um, we were here uh, two years ago and it was the moment where we decided that we wanted to kind of um, crack open the ceremonial tradition that it felt like we were encountering um we were really honored and and really touched and moved by all of the wisdom keepers and wonderful people that we met on our journey but within our group there were people that weren't um esoteric and weren't pagan or um didn't know anything about energy lines and uh they felt it was a bit inaccessible in the way that like maybe going to church can be and they wondered why we you know people always spoke with certain voices and had a certain way of being that was very serious and somber and um and so we're kind of like does it have to be like that and um and because we're fools uh, within the group there are lots of people who are theatrically trained as fools and worked with jonathan k for many years and um we wanted to crack open and play with like you know it shouldn't be inaccessible it doesn't have to be it's not that it shouldn't you can do whatever you want anyone can do whatever they want um but in the way that i love the prayer tree um yeah in the way that you have the um different styles of churches some people like to go to a church that's more somber and serious and then other people want to go to a church that's more um gospely and you know celebratory uh so yeah we just wanted to kind of work with it in a way that felt more accessible for us and that made more sense for us and it was while we were here at the railway stones that we did our first ceremony ourselves and we did a bit of, that was the first time the mama's play ever entered the sphere and um, we turned into a giant dragon here and we did some dance workshopping and we sang and it was just so magical and it really felt like this cracking open and um, ownership. Like, I think the thing that I love about my relationship to the land and my relationship to the lines and my relationship to the universe and creativity and myself, which is what this pilgrimage is about, is about repair. So how to repair, how to... 
for me, repair is a lot to do with permission. So how to give yourself permission to trust your relationship with the lines and how to give permission for you to trust your way of doing a ceremony and how to give permission to trust your feeling of whether the circle has said, yes, you're welcome, or whether the circle is saying, no, not today, and or whether you even feel like you need to do that. You know, um, people say, you, you should, you have to do that. There is no real should or have with anything, I don't think. Um, but I think it's a nice thing to do, um, and if that speaks to you, then that's a good thing to do. But also, it, permission to trust yourself to trust your instincts to trust your health to trust your body to trust your and also to trust like your shadow and um to trust that you're all of you and um you know so even with the repair like obviously when you're walking and we're now in week five and we're near the end and we're knackered and we're all gripey now and so all of our worst traits are coming out like how to own them and but also like not beat yourself up too much for them but also do your best to be better like always you know you don't you don't want to be an arsehole so how to try and be your best self but also you, you can't change you can't you can't completely change who you are when you're we all have a foible we all have a way that we're crap and that way that you're crap will always exist um when you're being crap that's the way you're crap um my, the ways I'm crap is that I do too many things at once. I'm too fast. Um, and so I can seem a bit uncaring and I can seem a bit bolshy and I can kind of be a bit... Um, uh, like, as if I'm impenetrable in some way. Like, I'm too I'm too far away for... You know, I'm too busy. Like, I'm out of earshot and eyeshot too quickly for a, for deep connection... And I do have deep connection with people, but I can sometimes sort of disappear. And I get that I do that and, and be thoughtless um, in the doing of that. Um, and be like, you know, I'm doing a million things and whatever I'm doing is really important. But that can then seem unthoughtful to other people. Oh, I know that that's my shit. And I try not to do that as much as possible. And for big chunks of time, I'd say 60%, I manage not to do it. And then 30% of the time, I do do it. But the fact that I don't do it the other way around, do it 60%, um, means I'm not an arsehole. <laughs> and it means I'm trying not to do it, and I, and I succeed more often than I fail. Um, and when I do do it, I apologise or I realise I'm doing it, and I try and make amends, and I try and um, sort it out. And I'm, I'm willing to admit when I fuck up. Um, but also, I will fuck up, because I'm a human being. And when I do, it will be in that area. So repairing is owning that that's my shadow i own that um it's not okay but if so it's not the end of the world i'm not a flipping you know uh, i'm not the antichrist or anything um i might be a dragon but i'm not that's not that bad a foible um and uh and then forgiving other people for their foibles so people are getting ratty and people are getting stressed and and tired so how can you do all of that um walking and living alongside each other and being worn out yourself and tetchy and but still love thine enemy love thy bad fairy um love the foibles and have patience and um understanding for people's needs and for like random people you meet who might be a bit funny or spiky although mainly people are just incredible so yeah how do you how do you repair and reconnect and, and give yourself permission to be you and to trust your interactions and your creativity and your relationships with the land um, and all of that's coming up for me while being in this circle and this circle is where we learnt to repair and take ownership of how we did ceremony and how we connected with the lines and how we um, uh, developed our relationship with each other and with the landscape and how we listened to it we do it through walking, we do it through performing, and we do it through looking after each other and loving on each other and loving ourselves. So that's lovely. Mwah. Thank you, Rowright right Stones, you're the best. <laughs> Oh, yay.
My beloved one. And I want to lie down. <laughs> 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 What this? Cloudy with a bit of sun. <laughs> really? Is it going to be cloudy with a bit of sun? It's going to be like <laughs> solar, cumulus activity. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm glad that the phone can tell you. <laughs> there will be sun. <laughs> Just been reminded of how at the sprint mill, our darling friend Peter, who's just amazing, um, said instead of saying take care to people now and they're leaving, he says take risks. And um, we say that now, so we've been saying that take risks instead of take care. And it's a really good thing to say, take risks. And my observation, this is just my observation. Um, is it feels like things have become more conservative um, generally this year. That's been the, it's been, so when I grew up, I grew up in the 90s in Braintree in Essex and I felt very isolated for being different and was the town weirdo and the only person who ever admitted to being gay that I knew of that was from my world did it via a documentary and then left, left town and told people to watch the documentary. And then over the years, like, there was a gay person on Big Brother and everyone really liked him and then it was okay to be gay. And then now people are openly gay in Braintree and then we had the internet and suddenly you realise that there are people like you out there in the world and people are, um, you know, we, we became more open and tolerant and open to difference and and then... Yeah, just this year, it's just my observation, it's just felt more like Braintree in the 90s. Um, people being more like, you know, hostile in their looks um, and just kind of fearful. And then also things like, you know, needing electricity to charge our phones and things like that. Um, that being more of an issue because people got less money. But yeah, just generally a bit of a 90s Braintree vibe. Um, and it's not completely and it's still literally all day every day people being unbelievably lovely like we just wild camped in a field that um, the caretaker for the church uh, told us to do because because the the minister of the church and um, uh, where were we just now uh, Witchwood under Shipton under Witchwood so I'm going to name the shame <laughs> uh, the the church warden, sorry, the church warden at the Shipton under Witchwood uh, wouldn't let a group of pilgrims stay in the church in case we were axe murderers. And that's the first time someone's sort of said no, but it's okay, people are allowed to say no. But it did, you know, it's that kind of, uh, I don't know, it just feels very unchristian and like most all churches have said yes to us except for when they've just it's just been impossible because of being too busy or whatever whereas this like the person who's the caretaker wanted to do it he wanted to support us he just needed to check with the warden 
um, that that was okay and then the warden said no um, and it's just yeah it's just that um, like but people are allowed to say no it's fine but yeah um, it's the first time that's happened and there's been a couple of times like a pub had a problem with us charging the phone and that was the first time that's happened so yeah after four years of doing this it's the first time that we've had people being more knowy about things more negative um, but we then stayed in this field uh, near some people's houses and in the morning a person came out whose house you know we we're staying right next to obviously you're worried that they're gonna be like not meant to be here and he's like well actually I leased this field off the church because we thought that it was okay for us to be there because the caretaker had said you know well this is the church's field and when I'm saying it's okay um, but actually it turned out that that wasn't the case because it was lease and then getting there and um, him coming out and him being really lovely he was like oh yeah do you need any water um, it was really lovely <laughs> you know he just came out to greet us like a bunch of people sleeping on your front doorstep and he was like do you need any water do you need anything so that that was lovely so it swings and roundabouts but yeah like I feel like the last few years it's been much more swings and uh, this has been the first year with roundabouts really I mean you always have the you always have the difficulties in your own self and in the navigating of you know and tiredness and all that kind of thing but yeah just in terms of people being a bit more like I say branch in the 90s feeling um, I don't know how else to describe it but that feeling of like slight hostility um, yeah that's just my observation Connect more, Ellen, today. Yeah, that's right. We've, we've been distracted. Um, we, we think about food a lot. Um, less, less thinking about food, more connecting to you. Okay, I'm with you. Right. Can you write that, Hilly? Okay. That? Does not defile, it just gives you disease. 
<laughs> Some practical advice. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I was like, that's actually really useful. <laughs> I can't believe I've been living in a tent for five weeks. I've got one week left and I've just discovered, you can't actually see, I've just discovered that I can put my chair in my tent, which means that I can sit upright in my tent and not get backache writing my journal and just like basically can just chill out and sit with a backrest in my tent. It's fucking revolutionary and I can't believe I've only just worked it out, but at least I now know for the future. Um, this other track you can beat Donna to where the Gillian is yeah to where Gillian is yeah. Bampton it's got tons of bumps It's 
massive. Let's go for a swim. This is literally a road to nowhere, like that goes on forever. We're on a road to nowhere. And we actually are. <laughs> oh. Yeah, do a road runner. <laughs> Oh my god. Beep beep! Jump! Rages. Yeah. I guess she could stay there if she wants. It's interesting how the approach to Glastonbury Tour is this like wiggly, snake like dance where you're uh, like seducing it almost. But then for this, which is the Bellinus line, the masculine line, it's these long straight lines. <laughs> it's like, this way, this way, we will enter the folly. It's very masculine. One usually aspires to write when, it's, when you're in the zone and it's a beautiful and colourful and magical. But there's these sort of occasional states where you feel like you've kind of fallen from grace and you're beautiful spread of angel wings are just burned and tattered and you're plummeting back down to hell and this, when I'm in those sort of moods I generally my mind tends to sort of potter off to kind of shuffling in, in Victorian London or sort of yeah. through like Parisian sewers or somewhere like that that's where my kind of romantic mind tends to sort of lurk so um if it is that sort of piece that sort of piece is that sort of, can I do it in Chris is that right? yeah. so there was a this is a this is a Dolgen's trilogy but I'll do the first bit. It'll take a few minutes, is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, there's no greater joy in the morning. Waking up to the cutest little cat, which didn't rip our tent apart, thank goodness. And look where we slept. Oh, it's beautiful. What joy. This is the life, eh? This is the life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some Swedish meatballs. <laughs> meatballs. Meatballs. <laughs> 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 Swap over. Yeah, that'd be 